This is a VO camera review of the VO2 camera. So we've put together about 30 pages of information on the VO2. This is a summary of what we've learned, and we've also broken down an index of all the questions you might have about the camera. So you can see here the first generation camera. We've recorded over 2,000 games with that version. And then you can see here the new camera we're recording and streaming from regionals. We've done about 40 games so far with that. One of the things that we've appreciated about the VO1 is the simplicity. Um, if you're just recording the new VO, you can still start and stop with the tap on your phone. And the editor is the same for the 1 and the 2. So if you've used it before, you don't have to relearn it. We do have a pretty in-depth video tutorial down farther, um, but the upgrade is definitely the hardware. So the ability to live stream and store more games and charge while recording, those things are all pretty uh, huge for certain types of teams, and we highlight those types of teams in the review. There's a new chip in the camera that does um, processing while it's recording. That gives you shorter upload times, which is great. Um, the, the director of the highlight has a better digital zoom resolution. The audio pickup from the mics is better, and there's an ability to cast to your TV when you're streaming. So all those um, upgrades outweigh, in our opinion, the challenges of the new camera. So if you do run into struggles or challenges, they're probably with streaming games, and that's due to some of the variables that come into play when you're live streaming games. So if you run into frustrations or questions, you can always um, send me an email or you can give me a call because we've helped um, hundreds of teams get started with the video camera. So we've probably run into most of the issues that you're going to encounter. So the way this re review is broken down is we started with the features of the camera. Then we looked at the challenges you might run into uh, the, some of the accessories you might want to use with the uh, with the VO2, and then this uh, tripods. Those are some important things that you need to know about the tripods. Uh, this game footage looks at the VO editor, and again, like I said, there's an in-depth video tutorial, and you can share that with your teams um, to help them learn the editor. This looks at the apps you'll use with the camera, the plans available. This looks at um, getting support, getting repairs, doing returns. The wish list are things that we would like VO to add um, in the future for the camera. We also take a look at the VO1 versus the VO2, um, things to consider, which one might be right for your team. VO camera tips, these are quick tips that we've kind of picked up the last few months. And then lastly, um, how we can help you as you're looking at the VO camera. So when you go into a section, at the bottom of the section, there'll be a quick link that takes you back to the review. So this should make it easier for you to get the questions you're looking for answered and navigate the review pretty quickly. As you go through the review, if you run into um, things that aren't covered, please let me know. You can email me, ben at easysportsvideo.com, or you can give me a call, 816-398-8846. I, I will answer your questions, and I will add them to the review for future teams. At the end of this, if you decide that the VO uh, would be a good fit for your team, we are an ambassador for VO. So at the bottom of the review, we have a link to our discount page. The way that works is you go to the page, you enter your name and email, and it will send you a discount code. And you can use that when you check out to save money if you get the camera. So I hope that this uh, VO camera review was helpful for you. If you have questions, again, let me know and um, looking forward to helping you with your sports recording needs. Thanks.